In this video, we're going to be doing a review of a new application called AFG. That's how it's displayed up there in the top left corner. It's referring to advice from the gods. Now, this allows you to search or study three different I'm not going to, I don't know the correct word, from three different books. The Quran, I think I'm saying that correctly, um, the Bible, and the Vedas. I'm not familiar with that word, so I don't know how to pronounce it, so please forgive me for not knowing how to pronounce that word. But the, the one I'm most familiar with is the Bible. And this one, this, it does include both the Old and New Testaments. And this would just be a great way to keep your Bible with you on hand at all times. You know, how many times have you come up in a conversation where you would like to have looked something up uh, just to maybe prove a point or maybe you were just thinking about something. In other words, this is a great way to get access to that and this is a free application however it does include some advertisements inside it and if you choose to remove those you can pay 99 cents so that's going to be left up to you so let's take a look around some of this we'll go start right at the beginning with you see you choose which book you want and then you get a little drop down and it gives you all the different chapters in that book so we'll go Genesis 22 and if you just wanted to say verse 6, you could just tap on that. And here, now you're getting some more options. If you wanted to bookmark that, you could tap the little heart. But here's something I really like is the highlight option. It just makes it stand out. That way, if you ever come back through here, maybe you could, um, you would recognize that you had read this before. Now, one thing that's not here that I would definitely like to see implemented in this application is a place to add notes because I know if many of you are like myself when you are studying the Bible or, or any other book of, of religion you are always making notes in the side bars of your books or study uh, whatever you're studying in you know a lot of people don't really like to write directly in their Bible so they'll make little notes in a notebook I've seen people do that just many different things but it would be very nice if each right here they, they could add the option along with highlight bookmark and share they could add a notes section right there and it would add a note under each verse that you chose to put a note beside of to me, that would just make it a better application. Now, that's not something that's probably everybody's going to agree on. But when you're studying, then you can go just, you can jump around very fast. It's very simple to change. If you wanted to jump over to Psalms, you could you could just jump over into it. And, you know, it's just, uh, it's a very easy app to use. Now, here's your, it'll show all your bookmarks here, which I don't have any added. But if we were wanting to read the Quran, then we could just go into here and open up any of this. The opening, um, I'm not sure how you pronounce that word, so I'm not going to try it. The Ka, I'm not sure how you say that. But anyway, as you can see, there's many different things. You get, to, you get the women, the food, the cattle, spoils of war, and... It just makes it a very easy way to compare each of these Bibles and books. Uh, I know the other ones are not called Bibles, so forgive me for that, guys. But anyway, it's a very nice way to maybe look in one and see how one religion looks at one topic and then go into another book and read how they look at it. So, very cool way to do it. And not to mention on Sunday or whatever day you go to church, now as you carry your phone, you will have your Bible. You won't have to, if you're like me, you're always forgetting it when it gets time for the sermon. You don't have it, but now you'll always have access to that. So be sure to grab it, guys. I think you'll really enjoy having this on your device. 
And as always, share this and keep coming back.